Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I got a blind box review for Bart. Bam. We're going to test it. Test it! Now, when this airs, when we, I mean, as we go on here, he doesn't know what's in here. I've set this. You know it's a Saturday show, so you know it's a world whiskey. I do. Okay. And uh, the, the color is perplexing already because that is a very, very golden dram. So mm -hmm. first thing I'm looking at is the golden color. Um, of course, color can be added with, uh, with scotches and I'm sure with Irish too, I think. Mm -hmm. So, so what we'll do is the bar's going to go through, we'll get some nosy notes, some tasty notes, we'll talk about it, we'll talk about what kind of price range, what age he thinks it is, um, how much kind of a score range, stuff like that, and then we reveal what it is, okay? Yes. So I'll actually have to hold off a little bit on my notes because I don't want to give too much away. 271. 272. Hmm. Uh, so let me do a Scotch God shout out real quick. AM Flyer 68 comments on our tam do batch strength review Ooh, just a couple good. weeks ago yeah juicy he says hey dudes that is not a dude that is a man you are a dude uh, infinity wars quote uh hey dudes received my two whiskey hats he ordered two coins one was number 179 also received a real life handwritten note explaining where the coins were used and thanking me Dang, boys, that's pretty damn cool. I plan on taking a coin shop picture in a couple of months on an Africa trip. Ooh. STDs make it to... Oh, I, I cut off the quote. I didn't get the whole deal in there. So, sorry about that, AM Flyer. I, my screenshot, I cut off your like, all of your uh, reply there, all your quote. But it's still thank good. you, it's AM going Flyer Africa. 68. Yeah, yep. and so I'll have a traveling dummy soon. Okay. Lighter, uh, 43%. Could be a little higher if it's refined, but I'm not getting a lot of ABV off of it. I get honeycomb, caramel. There's a touch of something else in there. I haven't had enough marzipan, <laughs> but, I, but I'm, that's coming to mind. Marzipan, dummies. We marzipan. keep getting that quote from... Uh, Gosh darn it. <laughs> he quotes every video, Marzipan. Right. Marzipan. So that's why I want to say Marzipan, but I could be wrong. Um, there's a slight citrus note in here as well. If I didn't say slight, that. I would say quite a bit. Really? Okay. Really juicy, almost like grapefruit. Yeah, right, but see, I don't get grapefruit tang, as juicy. Like I get a grapefruit citrus mm -hmm. tang, as you what you're right. Yeah. Yeah, grapefruit is the description. It's not like a juicy mango or something. I would agree with the marzipan. Marzipan is almond cookie dough, basically, oh, okay. or an almond paste that's used in baking. But I think there's there is a sherry influence on this as well. Okay. Really? So you know. Well, Mar that's a lot of times that's where marzipan is going to come from. Okay. And but the yeah. color, I think the color of it as yeah. well indicates right. a sherry casking. It's hard to tell. Grapefruit for sure, though, is the citrus note. Mmm. Buttery. Honeys. Citrus. Sugar. Mmm. All right, on the first open, it was almost neutral. Then it really started to blossom in the mid palate. I'm going to have to come back. Um, honeys. Finish is light, though. I'm really trying to. A um, little bit of a tingle on my uh, mouth feel, but it's really, really light, a light touch. A little bit of the malt in the finish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a little bit of a, um, like a buttery coating on my mouth. Not necessarily f flavor, but like that after buttery creaminess. This is a re-review. 
We did this a long time ago, mm. early on. Mm. It's much different. I tell you, because you might be trying to pin it down. I don't think you can. There's no way I remember this, like this whiskey as it is. Mm. I think that's my palate has changed and developed. There's more here that I'm picking up, more going on. It's much better than I remember. I'm almost getting a touch of pear in the mid palate. Open, opening to the finish. Um, like that light, juicy pear flavor. Yeah. Um, again, I just say honey. We have a lot of people, we haven't, I haven't had this for over three years, probably four years. A lot of people talk about how they really like this. It's one of their favorites. It was on sale and I thought, I'm going to get that again and try it. And I'm just like, holy crap, this is a blind box review because you will not. Yeah, it feels this. like a scotch to me, like a Speyside scotch. Or could be one of the lighter... One of the lighter Highlands, or I don't know. Hmm. Mm -hmm. The honeys and the citrus are almost, and the, the clue is what it's not, Balvini. Right. Kind of, it almost is kind of leading in there with some nice honeys. Like a Glen the Kinchy, Um That lighterness of a Glen Kinchy, a... Um, What's the other one I'm thinking of? Hmm. It's hearkening to like, uh, I can't remember the, uh, maybe a Dalwhinnie. The Dalwhinnie or the Glen Kenji is kind of what it's making me think of. Uh, ABV, I'm not sure of. I think it's around 45, 46, maybe. Mm. I don't, I'm it's not very sure. very smooth. I don't know. I would think 43. I should, I should have looked before I poured. Mm. So let's talk about um, how old do you think it is? Well, let's talk. Let's talk. Just score it. We're, uh, get, uh, and I know. Uh, not go 12 years. Down. 12 years light. That's why I'm thinking it might be of a northern region, kind of like the Glen Kinchy comes in real light or the Dalwhinnie does for me. Um, See, these subtler drams now are kind of where I think I pale a little bit in comparison to how you pick things out. I almost need to practice more of these lighter, subtler drams. Um, uh, to me, it's, it's a real nice 89. Um, I, I'm getting more currently into bursts of flavor and Part of it could be because I'm not as good at picking up subtleties. Mm -hmm. But it's got a nice maltiness in the finish. I like those pear notes. The nose is great. The honey, uh, it's a honey or a honeycomb or a honeysuckle. It's kind of, it's not an overpowering sweetness. I think there's a light sherry sweetness. I, I, I would give this a 91 now, and I don't remember what I gave it back when. Um, the sweetness, the oak influence. Yeah, I get the, the oak. oak. There's some age on it. There's a little bit of the sherry. sherry. I don't get the sherry here. I love that. You're right. There's that oaky, light wood wood finish. It's very good. A little bit of spice, some cinnamon, cardamom, all spice. Mm. Uh, this is a 14-year. Wow. I definitely would think it's like a Glen Kinchy or a Delwini then. Um, and the reason I bought it, normally a, this is close to, it's like a $90 to $100 bottle. It was on sale for $69. Wow. So I was like, I got to pick this up and try. Are you ready to see what it is? Almost. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're right. The I'm getting more and more as I sip on it. <clears throat> I'm getting more of those spicy notes right as the open of the finish happens because mm -hmm. it's leaving a, a spicy tingliness on my palate tucked in with the wood and the malt so yeah let's let's take a peek have i gotten anywhere close even i don't Thanks. i'm not i don't i don't even know what region this is i'm not the region person sure. well so nowadays the way they you move might be things right. around 
uh, regions could be anything. I mean, I hit yeah. two big, huge regions. Yeah. All right. The can and the bottles in there. So okay. Let me come up with that first. Oh, the Oban, uh, the Oban 14. Wow. Does that taste like anything you remember? None other than the Glen Kinchy or the uh, Dow Winnie. That was the only thing. It's a West Highland. No, I mean, like when we did, we did oh, for Oban 14. We I did Oban 14. It. I can't put memory to it. I'm pretty sure we were like, it tastes like salt water. <laughs> There's like an iron, um, you know, oak. 43%. Yeah, right on. Yeah. There you go. Um, well, and actually, look on there. It's got Clint, Glen Kinchy, Dalwini, Crag and Moore. It's from the, uh, the classic malts of Scotland, which is done by... Um, uh, whichever uh, conglomerate owns all of these, but no, oh, Diageo. Mm. So yeah, that's right in there with those. But see, I remember uh, Dalwini being even lighter. Yes. Uh, Oban. It's a is, West Highland. Is the unforgettable West Highland destination on a journey around Scotland's six malt whiskey making regions. The other classic malts are. And then it's the Glen Kinchy, the Dalwini, the Crag and Moore, the Talisker, and the Lagavulin on Isla. Hmm. By the way, we have our own uh, dropper sets now from uh, Angel Shared Glass. We used, uh, early on, we switched. We bought a, this dropper dilution set from Angel Shared Glass. And uh, it's we got... got cool, uh, it's engraved down there with our, our Android, like... It's a profile, really, yep. and the same thing is laser etched on the glass, which is cool. It's almost like you're you're seeing, like this part of the androids in shadow. Oh, this is this is so much richer and sweeter. I'm pretty sure there's a sherry influence, even though I can't even find it. That is sherry cast. The honeys, the honeycombs, the malt, the the sweetness, the citrus. It's, it's very good. It's very yeah, delicious. Is, I see why a lot of people like it as much as they do. Yeah, the stills here are among the smallest in Scotland. Uh, it says the cramped nature of the site places severe limits on production, which in turn means the demand for Oban's richly appreciated malt is always likely to exceed supply. See, I even think if you would have given me a list of our first hundred reviews and you would have said this bottle, blind, is in our first hundred reviews, I would have been like, well, that's not the Oban 14. <laughs> it's not this, because I just don't remember it being. Well, that's one, it's you good. know, I like how you did that because the overarching aspect of our show is our journey, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We start as novices, dummies. Well, and, and we were dummies in production. We were dummies. We didn't even have our set down here. We, we, it was all new, which was a part of the show is to show the, the wonderful whiskey experience to make whiskey fun and to watch our journey as you go. So what? This I'm was our over. fourth review. Wow. December 5th of 2013. Nice. This is when we were probably doing like one show a month. Yeah. Because <laughs> our first show was October, we yeah. did we did uh, two in October, one in November, one in December, two in January, <laughs> and then I remember you said you wanted to go and start doing them week one a week, and you were like, "That's crazy, I said, you're crazy, There's you will no never be able to get it done." And then you said, "Let's do two a week," and I said, "You're crazy, you were nuts." And but then, then you, you said, let's you, throw in a live stream. You came up. Well, I wanted to do live because some of the board gamers were doing live. And you're like, actually, we can do that. <laughs> and then you got full on and you started being the, uh, your, your connection, your ability uh, to uh, draw people in. And we started getting all the other uh, whiskey tubers on. And that was really fun. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's the goal. By the way, if you ever want to do a show... Make sure you enjoy all aspects. Editing. When I'm editing our show, I'll be laughing at some of the stuff, your facial expressions or something stupid I say. So even the editing's fun, yeah. generally. And we for, and the thing is, even me, I forget. I'm like, oh my God, I forgot even talking about that. Yes. Doing that. So. Yeah. Well, I'll see your facial expressions and I'm just shaking my head going, ha. Ah. So when I'm enjoying the editing, the making of it, the tasting of it, of course, uh, let's do. Uh, let's move into our Patreon sure. um, shout outs. You let's do. A, uh, we've got a two dollar supporter. Which we'll mean, do first. Which means we're going to be yelling at Raster. Put in your earplugs, earplugs Raster. Raster. He doesn't like us shouting. So Can you see that? Uh, yes, love it. 
So uh, thank you. And then the Jason, name? Jason, yeah. Fisk. J Jason, Jason Fisk. Fisk. Jason Fisk. <laughs> thank you, Jason. Thank Woo! you very much. Two dollar Patreon supporter. You can support for one dollar, two dollar, three dollars. You can really make up your own support level. Mm -hmm. We don't know what we do for that. Didn't somebody do like three fifty? There was some odd. No, I don't remember a three fifty deal. Yeah, maybe it was five fifty. Yeah. Uh, Robert Leonard, another two dollar supporter. Ready? Ooh, Robert Leonard, Leonard yelling the with Leonard. gusto. The Lenny Meister. Leonard. Robert Robbie. Leonard. I wonder, does he go by Rob or Rob, or does he prefer the full Robert? That's right. Maybe he's Bert, even. I don't know. But I, I bet you it's Rob. Rob Leonard. And last but not least, a $3 supporter. And we'll put a one. picture in here. Yes. $3 supporter. Photos popping up. And I love the last we'll name. Put it ready? Yes. It's Nemo. Yes. Sean, Sean Nemo. Nemo Meister. The God of the depth. What's the, uh, the water? Finding, Isn't it finding Nemo? Nemo? Finding Nemo. Yeah. yeah. What am I talking about? The god of the depth. Who is that? Is there a, there's a Nordic god in there? Is it Nemo? <laughs> no, Nemo. Wasn't he the guy, Captain Nemo was chasing the white whale? Oh, yeah. That's what it was. Wow. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Sorry, Nemo. But Sean Nemo. Uh, name? Uh, Jason Fisk, Robert Leonard, $2 supporters. Thank you guys very much. Patreon is uh, helping us tremendously. Huge. Uh, Sean Nemo coming in a $3 Three. supporter. We put his picture up here. He's at the Kalila Distillery. We didn't say that. Yeah. Lovely. So uh, you become a $3 supporter. Send us your picture. We'll throw it in here. You got to be um, clothed. Now, Kale Kalila is our very first review. Yes. And our 100th review. Right. And it fared well for me in the Pete Strikes Back Pete shootout that we did. It did. We both enjoyed it, but mm -hmm. you really liked it. Yeah. Yeah. Great 12 year. I think it actually came in number did it come in number two. I think yours was two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Behind the Lefroy 18. But look at Nemo. Sean Nemo. Nemo. I'm still Kalila. trying to think of the god of the depth. Somebody's got it on there. The Greek. What else right. we got? Anything? That's it. Uh, we scored it. We talked about it. It's a 14 years. Uh, now, would you say, let's talk about we didn't. Is it worth it you, um, for, for $69? I think yes. so. I think it's delicious. It's I'm sort of a dram, but it. yes. Um, you know, I will admit, I need work on my subtle palate because um, there's a lot of things going on here that it, it even the spiciness and stuff started to, to open up as I went. This is a dram I would pour an ounce and spend an hour. Mm -hmm. And I would nose it and I would just try to tease out some of these flavors. It's got a good, a great finish. I mean, even at 43%, the 14 years, I think, is it comes through on the palate. It really hangs in there. You take a, a small sip. Mm -hmm. Even now, it's just now that last sip I took, it's starting to wane down. I, I agree. You get. Well, what's interesting for me is the real soft open. I just took some more to get it. Right as you're leaving the mid palate, headed into the finish, it really like blossoms and open up. Chupacabra with the honeys and the woods. You so, know, you say that every time the dog yeah, starts barking. I love it. Chupacabra. Yeah, I like to say it. It's like you say dog. I guess dog. I could go, they can hear it. You I can guess hear I, the dog barking. I could go dog, dog. like that. I, I think I could just say dog. I could say shepherd, hound, chupacabra. Yeah, chupacabra. But it's like you can't hear it. He's got to point it out. There's the chupacabra. Uh, actually, I don't usually even say there. So there there's I just a facial expression for you. Chupacabra. Right. I just go chupacabra. <laughs> <laughs> we wrote this part out. There was a part where he's like, "When the dog uh, works." I'm, 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 I'm going from a 91 to a 92. Oh, you're climbing now. Yeah, I'm not. I'm sticking. <laughs> you're right, though. It does mm -hmm. continue to open. Mm -hmm. This is one of those beautiful drams that continues to transition and change. Mm -hmm. And that is the beauty, in my opinion, of Scotch whiskey. Mm -hmm. so, so, now, go to scotchtestdummies.com. Check out our uh, shirt shop, our so merchandise page. We got a bunch of stuff on there. The Wait a minute, we did going. not. Oh! We, got, we had a super scotch god. Yes, a super send scotch god shirt. fan. They tend to send care packages on it. How did we just remember that? I don't know. You looked down and, Come and to, yeah. saw it. Come to the dark side. We yes. have our bag. It's Vader holding on to an Ard bag. Mm -hmm. And my nickname is either Bart Bag. Or Ardbart. Ardbart. Ardbeg. <laughs> Ardbart. 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 Ardbart's probably it. Turns out, go watch our blind shootouts. I, I realize that I'm a super Ardbeg lover. And hence, the shirt showed up. And you've really warmed up as well. Now, uh -huh. scotch it. You 
Scotch gods. It's launcher. Dummies. Dummies.